artiste Reuben Kay and comedian Russell Kane. Welcome all of you to your fired. <laughs> Of course, a very experienced cabaret artiste, mm. performer. You're used to performing your own songs. Yeah. I mean, uh, would you be happy with your songs being remixed in the way that the teams did? I mean, do you want the, the long answer? Uh, any answer no. you've got. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I would rather do a midnight gig at Millwall with an open bar and an armed crowd. <laughs> <laughs> But I think, especially in this challenge, the pressure is getting to the candidates and trying to balance art and commercialism is a real double-edged sword. They don't make the best bed pals. And I think the pressure to get the deal done yeah. means that the song and the artist just become uh, casualties of war. Mm -hmm. And poor, the poor candidates are overextending themselves just to get their voice. So that Lottie's telling everyone that she's the, the love child of Mozart and Mark Ronson. <laughs> <laughs> Recording studio, she's halfway between craft work and a fax machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a mess. <laughs> but she's been in the music industry for 15 years. Since Great. She was four years old. Great, I got a cold sore once, now I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben, uh, do you think he's got the right approach? Look, so you're going to be fine. You are. I've got all these. I wrote all these mean jokes to say, but now that you're in front of me, oh. let's do them. I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> no, I have no doubt that as a survivor, you will be managing your own massive organisation as long as it isn't music artist management, selling tickets to a theme park, <laughs> selling lollies, <laughs> selling tickets to a safari park, anything with sales or other people. But apart from that, <laughs> you have everywhere to go. 